Hi, hello everyone. For this session, we will discuss few seven marks questions. So these are very very important questions. Definitely one will come in the annual examination. See here, first one. The probability distribution of a random variable x has given been. So these are the random variable values. These are the probability distribution values. Yet to find the value of k. And the mean and variance of x. So these are all problems based on the three formulas. The first one sum of probabilities one, and second one mean formula, third one variance. See so here first. We know that sum of probabilities, which is equal to what one. Sum of probabilities means what probability p for probability. You can add all the probabilities values. That is equals to one. So what are the probability values? K plus two K max three K plus four K plus five K, which is equals to one. So total I add all these Ks. How much? Fifteen K, which is equals to one. So from this you can. Find k value that is one by fifteen. This is the first one, first formula, and first one. Next, find the mean. We know that mean is denoted by what mu. So mean formula is summation of multiplying these two only. X i next p of x equal to x i. So right here x i. P of x is equal to x i. So means product of these two. First one into k, k plus two into two k. That is four k plus three into three k, nine k plus four into four k, sixteen k plus five into five, twenty five k. So add all this. Twenty-five plus sixteen, forty-one, fifty, fifty-five. So this is fifty-five k. You know k value one by fifteen. That is fifty-five into one by fifteen. So this is five eleven ja five three ja. So mean is equal to what? Eleven by three. Okay. Next one variance. We know that variance formula, which is equal to sigma x i square. First term write as square x i square. Second one write as t is p of x is equal to x i minus mean square. That is mu square. Okay. Square of first one into second one. One square into k, that is k, plus two square into second term. Two square means four. Four into two, eight k plus three square into this. Three square is nine. Nine into three, twenty-seven k. Next four square into four, that is sixteen into four, sixty-four k. Next five square, twenty-five into five, one twenty-five. Minus mu square, eleven by three whole square. Okay. Now add again all this. So which is equal to what? Two twenty five k minus one twenty one by nine. Two twenty five into k, one by fifteen. Minus one twenty one by nine. Fifteen one ja fifteen fifteen ja. LCM is what nine fifteen into nine one thirty five minus one twenty one so which is equal to what fourteen by nine so this is the variance see the second one this is also very very important here also given random variable of x as the following probability distribution first one find k mean and p of zero less than x less than five see the solution. For finding the value of k, first we have to take sum of probabilities in one. 
we know that sum of probabilities which is equals to 1 sum of probabilities so add all this first one 0 plus k plus 2k plus 2k plus 3k plus k square plus 2k square plus 7k square plus k is equals to 1 first k square terms total 10k square next k terms 3 plus 2 5 plus 3 8 plus 1 9k same to 1 left to side minus 1 is equals to 0 so which is a quadratic equation in terms of k you need to find the factors so clearly what are the factors plus 10k minus k minus 1 is equals to 0 from the first two terms 10k is common 10k of k plus 1 from the second two terms minus 1 is common k plus 1 which is equals to 0 again k plus 1 k plus 1 is common k plus 1 into what is the remaining 10k here yeah, minus 1 is equals to 0 so k plus 1 is 0 next one 10k minus 1 is 0 what are the k values k is equal to minus 1 k is equals to 1 by 10 if you substitute k is equal to minus 1 here what is the probability value negative but probability value should be lies between 0 to 1 so clearly which is not possible and hence what is the k value 1 by 10 which is not possible this is the value of k next you can find what mean so here we know that mean so what is the mean formula summation of multiplying these two xi into p of x equal to xi xi into p of x is equal to xi so which is equal to so 0 into 0 that is 0 only plus 1 into k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 into 2k plus 4 into 3k plus 5 into k square plus 6 into 2 2 by k square plus 7 into this 7 into 7 49 k square plus 7 k now cr which is equal to what 49 plus 5 54 plus 2 bell 66 k square next k values 4 plus 1 5 plus 6 11 plus 2 bell 23 plus 7 30 k you know k value 1 by 10 substitute there which is equal to 66 into k square means 1 by 100 plus 30 into 1 by 10 66 by 100 means what 0 0.66 plus 3 which is equal to what 3.66 that is the mean next one third p of 0 less than x less than 5 here which is p of 0 less than x less than 5 so what are the probability values here lies between 0 to 5 only you know that 0 to 5 between 0 to 5 what are the values first one p of x is equal to 1 plus p of x is equal to 2 plus p of x is equal to 3 plus p of x is equal to 4 between 0 to 5 we have 1 2 3 4 which is equal to first p of x is equal to 1 what is the value k at x is equal to 2 2k at x is equal to 3 2k at x is equal to 4 3k so which is what 8k this is 8 by 10 since k is 1 by 10 which is equal to what 0 0.8 see the third question the range of random variable is given 0 1 2 and also given probability values at x equal 0 3 c cube at x equal to 1 4 c minus 10 c square at x equal to 5 c minus 1 
here find the value of c you know for finding the value of c and for finding the value of k we have to use the formula sum of probabilities is 1 see the solution first one sum of probabilities which is equals to what 1 so what are the probability values here first one 3c cube plus second one 4c minus 10c square plus third one 5c minus 1 which is equals to what 1 this is 3c cube minus 10c square 4c plus 5c 9c minus 2 is equals to 0 which is a cubic polynomial equation to find the roots of this polynomial equation for finding the roots of this polynomial equation we have to use the trial and error method so that is first if c is equals to 1 substitute here what will you get 3 minus 10 plus 9 minus 2 so clearly it becomes 0 so means the number 1 satisfying this equation so we can say that the number is called root of this equation therefore c is equal to 1 is a root of equation 1 now to find the remaining roots by using synthetic division method so in that method first you should write the coefficients what are the coefficients 3 minus 10 9 minus 2 now draw the vertical and horizontal lines what is the root right to the left of vertical line and first place 0 3 plus 0 3 3 into 1 right here add these two minus 7 into 1 minus 7 add these two 2 2 into 1 2 it becomes 0 this is the c square coefficient c coefficient constant c square coefficient c coefficient constant now write as this polynomial equation is 3c square minus 7c plus 2 is equals to 0 now to find the factors of this quadratic equation so this is 3c square minus 6c minus c plus 2 is equals to 0 okay now this is from the first two terms so 3c is common what you will get c minus 2 from the second two terms minus 1 is common c minus 2 now this is c minus 2 into 3c minus 1 is equals to 0 what are the c values 2 and 1 by 3 see here if c is equal to 1 substitute here or substitute anywhere anywhere what is the probability values see here if c is equals to 1 p of x is equal to 0 e is 3 if c is equals to 2 p of x is equal to 0 that is 3 c cube 3 into 2 cube 3 into 8 is 24 we know that probability values lies between 0 to 1 but what you get 3 and 24 so these are not possible since the probability values lies between 0 to 1 only but you got 3 24 so c is equal to 1 and 2 are not possible this is not possible and this is also not possible so what is the possible value c is equals to 1 by 3 now second one p of x is less than 1 below 1 So clearly we have zero, one, two. What are the below one values? Only zero. That is p of x is equal to zero. At x is equal to zero, what is the value? Three c cube, which is equal to three c cube. So three into one by three whole cube. So which is what? One by nine. Next, p of one less than x less than or equals to two. Between one and two, there is no integer. But here 
equal to what two. So this is height as only p of x is equal to two. But given that this is less than or equal to two, so means equal to two. That's why you can write p of x is equal to two. And x is equal to two. What is the value? Five c minus one. That is five by three minus one, which is equal to two by three. And the last one. P of zero less than x less than or equal to three. Between the zero and the three, what are the values? One and two. And equal to three also there, but there is no three. So you can write one and two. That is P of x is equal to one plus P of x is equal to two. And x is equal to one. What is the probability value? Four c minus ten c square. And x is equal to two. What is the value? Five c minus one. Five c minus one. So this is four c plus five c. Nine c minus ten c square minus one. So you know that c value is one by three. That is nine by three minus ten by three square nine minus one. So three three sir. Three minus one two. Two minus ten by nine. Nine two is eighteen minus ten. Eight by nine. Okay. See the fourth question. The range of random variables is given one, two, three, and so on. And also probability p of x equal to k value is c power k by k factorial, where k is one, two, three, and so on. Find the value of c and p of zero less than x less than three. First, given p of x is equal to k is what c power k by k factorial, where k value is one, two, three, and so on. Find the value of what c. You know, for finding the value of c and k, we have to use the formula sum of probabilities is one. We know sum of probabilities, which is equal to One. First, your k value start from one. First one, p of x is equal to one. Next, p of x is equal to two. Next, p of x is equal to three, and so on. Which is equal to what? One. See here, x is equal to one. Substitute k is one. What will you get? C power one by one factorial. K is equal to two. C power two by two factorial. K is equal to three. C power three by three factorial and so on, which is equal to one. Here we add one on both sides. What will you get? One plus C plus C square by two factorial, C cube by three factorial and so on, which is equal to one. We know that e power x expansion is. One plus x plus x square by two factorial and so on. So clearly, this expansion is what e power c here one plus one. Here, what is this expansion e power c, which is equal to what two? From this, what is the value of c? Log two to the base e. This is the value of c. Let's also find. P of zero less than x less than three. See here, what are the x values lies between zero to three? Between zero and three, what are the values? One and two. That is, P of x is equal to one plus P of x is equal to two. At x is equal to one, what is the value? C. At x is equal to two, C square by two factorial. That is, C square by two. What is the value of C? Log two to base e plus log two to the base e whole square by two. So this is the value of e of zero less than x less than three.